Hello everybody, it's Rick. It's Monday, June 1st. Well, I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a very good weekend, except for when I was watching the news. That was a little distracting. So I hung out with my wife on Friday. We have a dog that had knee surgery, so we're kind of house-sitting the dog right now. I worked in the yard. My vegetable garden is doing great. My koi pond's nice and clean. I took some of my hot rods out, relaxed for the weekend. I went to virtual church on Sunday. I'm still not going back to church. I'm trying to honor the COVID as long as I can. I'm excited about the week. I'm going to do my budget. I'm going to invest more money in the stock market. I'm going to make a lot of calls. I'm going to see a lot of people. You know, I'm going to give you my two cents on what happened. It was horrific that that man got arrested and killed in police custody. I'm so glad that guy got arrested, that policeman. It makes me very happy that we're going to seek justice. I think that Protesting is fabulous. I think rioting is horrible. I think the people that go down there for a couple hours and protest for justice during the day, I'm all about them. I applaud them. I think the people that are there late at night that are trying to cause trouble and are looting stores and rioting is hurting the cause of the people that are down there peaceful protesting. I think if we all go to work really hard, I think if we all go to church really hard, I think if we all exercise, I think if we all work on our properties, if we all save money, we won't have time for all these shenanigans that are going on out there. I will tell you this. I'm glad I live in the suburbs because I watched it locally on my news last night. It was pretty bad. And I watched it nationally and it was really bad. Churches being burned, stores being looted. It's ruining the cause of the people that are down there protesting for equality and justice. So my thoughts on it. Go to work, go to church, go to the gym, save money. You gotta remember, 41 million people are unemployed. 41 million people are unemployed. That's causing this to be bigger than it is. I don't know what's right and what's wrong. I know this. I know there are some bad police officers, some bad people on both sides of the equation that make things worse for everybody. I know that we can all be better examples and that's what we all can do. So I think that go to work hard this week, make a lot of phone calls, stay off the news, uh, do your budgets, save a lot of money, stick money in the stock market. I think the stock market's only gonna go up in the next couple of months as we go back to work. I think COVID is heading on the tail end of COVID, which is good news. I think that people need to, um, you know, be open-minded to every opportunity to earn that they can and make these phone calls and see these people as we get back out. I'm too busy to get involved in all this stuff politically. I'm a capitalist. So I always vote for whoever is the best capitalist that has lowest taxes, allows me to make the most money. That's what I think about. I want to create a lot of jobs. I want to create a lot of opportunities for people to make money. That's what I want to do. So that's where I'm going to stay when, when you look at the needle on this thing, is I'm going to stay on the side of go to work, go to church, go to the gym, be a good family person, be involved in my community, and, and lead by example. So that's what I suggest for all of you. Make it a big week. Make a lot of phone calls. Rick Ruby out.